Hey guys, Lucas Elton with 360 Yield Center out here cutting some beans today uh, in the auger cart. So we've got a little bit of time to think about a few other things. So uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about anhydrous versus UAN and 32%. You know, if we if we think we're going to give up a little bit of yield, what's that mean for our true bottom line? So if we look at anhydrous being a little bit cheaper in the fall than it is in spring, well, how many bushels do we have to lose to make up for that? So. Uh, the biggest thing that I think we, we need to consider when we're looking at fall anhydrous versus spring anhydrous is, is soil conditions. So not only temperature, but also moisture. So right now where we're at in South Central Illinois, we've got, I wouldn't say we're in a drought, but soil conditions are fairly dry. So it's probably gonna be tough. We're a little bit too warm yet anyway, but if the, if the temperatures turned around, we had a, a week of cool weather and we got our soil temperature under 50 degrees without any rainfall, I've got a feeling it's going to be a little bit of a struggle to get some of that anhydrous to seal and get those knives to do a good job. So we don't want too much moisture, um, but if we're looking at making that application, we're probably going to have to have a little bit more than what we've got now. So uh, just run through a couple of examples. These are just rough numbers uh, for figuring from what I've heard kind of out in the area and different things. So in this example, we're doing 200 pounds of fall anhydrous versus 200 pounds of spring anhydrous. Uh, then comparing those to 200 pounds of UAN through, say, a wide drop system, nitrogen on the planter, that type of thing. So this scenario, we're not doing any side dress. We're not mixing and matching. The math gets too hard for me to do it in my head. So, uh, so we'll start with our fall anhydrous price. So $1,100 a ton. Uh, that's going to put us at about $133 per acre. So. Uh, so that's cheaper when we look at our fall anhydrous versus our spring anhydrous. So $1,500 a ton, we're looking at about $183 per acre when we look at 200 pounds of total in. So that's actual in. So there's a $50 per acre difference. Uh, and that's significant. There's no doubt about that when we just look at cost. Uh, when we look at the agronomic side, and the same thing when we look at 32%, um, $50 an acre is a lot, but when we look at the total bushels it takes to get there, uh, right now, today, where we're setting corn is $6.50. $6 so, uh, 10 bushel per acre for easy figuring. So we're looking at a 240 bushel corn crop versus a 250 bushel corn crop. Um, I'm gonna tell you from experience, it really depends on the winter. So we're obviously introducing ourselves with some extra risk by putting it on in the fall. Um, knowing that it potentially could warm up over the winter uh, that crops probably not going to utilize all that in um, but that's essentially we're, we're taking away some of the risk of spring application but we're also adding in about a 10 bushel risk uh, with our fall application of anhydrous so we in order to make that fall application to me that we've got to be confident that we're not going to lose more than 10 bushel over our spring application so uh to me that that's something that it makes more sense to think of it that way um uh, because we're actually looking at total dollars versus just our costs and uh, obviously 10 bushels per acre that's 65 dollars an acre right now uh, but as prices fluctuate that's to me i think a decent way of looking at it so um now when we can compare that to our spring UAM price, so $515 a ton, which is what we're using in this example, that comes to about $161 an acre. So we're really only about 30 bucks different from our fall price then. Um, and it could be argued just with yield results and different things that if we can apply those nutrients in season, um, that's something that we can really start to stack those bushels up. So obviously for different operations, logistically that, that can sometimes be a challenge, but uh, when we look at 30 bushel divided by six, um, I hate to do math on here on camera, but we're only needing about five bushel. Uh, look at a $30 difference, we're only needing about five bushel. We're actually cheaper than our, our spring price when we're looking at just full anhydrous versus full 32. So there's a, obviously a ton of different scenarios that factor in with the labor and ground conditions and uh, location and that type of thing. But, but just think through it from a an ROI standpoint and not necessarily just a, a cost of input standpoint. So